welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in and today I'm going to show you guys how I created this look La! yes and I use mostly elf cosmetic products so uh, if you want to copy it it's really affordable you can find elf right in your drugstore aisle so go check them out and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and that's it so let's check out the video okay guys so let's do this i am going to start by applying the hydrating face primer in clear from elf cosmetics And this is actually the first time I'm using it and I have to say it feels so soft on your skin. Really, really nice. Next, I'm using the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in the shade Tobacco from Becca. And this is a full coverage foundation, which I like a lot, although the color I have is a little too dark. So I mixed it with my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in the shade Tan. I just really wanted to use this foundation for the coverage just to see how it would look because usually I use a medium coverage and this is like a real full coverage foundation so we'll see how it goes then I am using the ultimate coverage concealing cream also from Becca in the shade coffee and I'm applying that on those major Gucci bags under my eyes. <laughs> and I'm using my beauty blender to blend it all in. And if you guys hear a cat in the background, that is George. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, you have heard him before. I'm using my Clinique Translucent Powder number 4 to set everything. This has been my go-to powder for as long as I can remember. I always keep coming back to it and I love it. Next up are the eyebrows and for my brows I am going to use the Brow Pencil by e.l.f. and this one is in the shade, I want to say taupe, but I'm not sure because it's really hard to read, but it's some kind of dark brownish color. And I'm cleaning it up using the same concealer that I used underneath my eyes.
Now for the fun stuff. I am going to use ELF's Nude Rose Gold Palette. And the first color I'm applying in my crease and down the corner of my eye, as you can see. And you always want to start light because you can always build it up as you go. And the key word here is blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Next, we are going to apply concealer over our lid. And the reason why we're doing that is so that the colors that we are going to be applying are really um, more visible. The concealer kind of makes them stand out really nicely. You can also use a primer for this, but I find that concealer works really well. Next we're going to go in with this lighter color and we're going to apply it all over our lids right where we applied the concealer. Don't worry if it's not looking neat, it will eventually. You just got to keep blending, blend, 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 blend. And then in the outer corner, you want to apply that darker purple shade, which is the color that's all the way to the right hand side in the palette. And of course, you want to repeat all these steps on both eyes. The first color that you apply to your lids is the color that you're going to apply underneath your eyes, working your way all the way to the outer edge. And the lightest shade in the palette, which is the one all the way to the left, is the one we are going to apply in the inner corner of our eyes, just to give it that little extra oomph. And 
you also want to apply that lighter shade all the way up to the brow bone then we are going in with the intense ink eyeliner by elf and i love this eyeliner because it's like a it's almost like a sharpie <laughs> you can hold it just just like a pen it looks just like a sharpie pen and it just makes it so much easier to draw a neat line and you want to repeat that on both eyes then I am going to apply the lashes and I'm using the natural lash kit by elf cosmetics um, in the package it comes with one pair of lashes and an eyelash glue so all you need is that little kit and you're good to go on my lips I'm applying infallible paints by L'Oreal in the shade violet twist and the kind of tame the bright purple color a little bit I am going in with one of the light shades from the palette and I'm just gonna apply it in the middle of my lips Then for my cheeks, I'm going to go back into that eyeshadow palette. And I believe it's the first shade I applied to my eyelids. I am going to apply to my cheeks. Yes, you can use this palette in so many more ways than one. You just have to be creative. Well guys, that was the look. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.